Hey, I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. It's been a couple of weeks since I've put out a video on my YouTube channel, but I thought for those of you who are subscribing, I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the 2019 Rookie Scouting Portfolio because really the work that I do with the RSP um, Film Room is just research on the way to putting out this publication that I sell every year. And I'm just, you know, this page here is showing you what a variety of people think and have thought about the RSP over the years, ranging from people who have been in the NFL, work in the CFL, who are people who've been in major media, in fantasy circles, as well as even people who coach and do um, consulting with high school, major college, and professional players. You know, so you can see that here. I've been doing this for 15 years. So, you know, the detail that you see in my breakdowns, about a single play or a set of skills or a single skill set or even hour-long breakdowns that I do. It all goes into, it's all research for this publication. You, know, you can learn more about the publication also at my mattwaldmanrsp.com site. And, you know, that's, you subscribe to my site, you'll get, you'll get updates to all the different work that I do. But the common response I get is like what this first-time buyer had to say you know, the night that I put the publication out. And usually what I hear from people is, I heard it was good, I I was excited to get it, but I had no idea what I was getting until I looked at it. And they're usually shocked in a pleasant way. And so this, what, this tweet that I put up here, I get this type of tweet every year from multiple people. So if you've been on the fence or want to learn a little bit more about this guy that, that's focused on quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end, can learn more about it here and I'm going to give you a tour right now just to what the RSP is all about. So here's how it looks. Normally you've got, you know, the page opens up pretty much like this um, when you would uh, download it from Adobe uh, or you download it in Adobe format. It's available at mattwaldman.com and you would just pay by PayPal. It's $21.95. You get this, you get a post draft edition and you get put on a newsletter from june through december that comes out once a month it gives you updates some rankings updates three times a year as well as analysis about this class and future classes um you know throughout that time but when you download this publication it's going to look you know probably going to start you off on page one so we can go to page one right here and looks like this you can use the bookmarks which is on this left hand side here you click on that, and everything is bookmarked. And it's probably going to look like this when you get it. But when you click on the plus signs, you can expand and see all the chapters that are here. And so, you know, I, I go through a number of different things and explain, you know, a great variety of what's going on here. But let's start from, like, for if you're just a fantasy player or you're just interested in rankings and you just want kind of the lowdown about rankings. One of the things that I do is that I give you charts. So you can look at a rankings table and I'll have a rankings table and I'm gonna let you see my first three guys here in my rankings here. Um, you know, Hawkinson, Smith, and Noah Fant. I have a depth of talent score. I have a breadth of talent score. Um, I explain what those two are, how they come about, how you could even grade them yourself if you wanted to. Um, as well as some of their basic combine numbers, as well as some comments about the player. Okay, And I do that for each of the four positions that I study. And so I rank them by depth of talent. I'll rank them also by um, without adjustments or bonuses. I'll rank them based on, um, I'll give you some comparisons for the players. And I talk about how I compare and why I compare the way that I do. Um, then I even talk about, about the breadth of talent and what that difference is, and I rank them by that. And then I even give you a three-year look from the past three classes of how I graded them at when they were rookies. So you get a comparison for what I thought of them at the time when they were rookies. When the year progresses, I actually re-rank these three years so that you get a current idea of what I think of them. And that happens with the post-draft update a week after the draft. That's when the post-draft update comes out. And then in August and then in November in my newsletter. So it's a really nice deal for people. I give you, I, I show a lot of tiers for how I rank the depth. 
and let's just talk about you know kind of the chapter let's take a look at a chapter so if you wanted to look at rankings it's very easy to see everything's in a chart form if you want to get a little more depth into this listen you can get my overview and fantasy impact about the players you can learn about rookie productivity if at the position and I give some data that explains you know how these guys have performed in the past um, I give you an idea about my rankings and how they work, how I create them. And then I do what are called skill breakdowns and stack rankings. And this is kind of taking you through my process for that depth of talent score that I use to do my main rankings. And I just basically show you what I'm looking at. And then I separate each of these things out. So if you want to look at separation for players, it shows you here defines what I look at separation to be and then shows you the players and where they tiered up and each of these tiers have a value a set of value points to them and and those values contribute to their depth of talent score so I do that for every section you know and show you with routes and you can see kind of at the bottom what the values are and I tell you who I think is the best who I think needs monitoring who I think needs improvement, who might be the worst in certain categories if they're especially lacking in a certain area. I give you an idea of what the depth of talent score looks like and what that's defined as. And then I give you some ideas about these players, who I think's overrated, who I think's underrated, who I think's a project, and why I think that tiers are better than rankings, but why rankings are still necessary. So I go into that. And then we go into profiles. And you can see I have these players all listed out and there's little pluses next to them. That's because you can click on that and you can see the write-up for TJ Hawkinson and what I think about these tiers and the differences between them and a full write-up on the player. And then maybe a little fantasy advice as well. And then there's a checklist for what that scoring looked like for the player. And there's multiple checklists for Hawkinson here. So you can see that for Hawkinson, you can see it for Irv Smith, you know, and you can see that at the bottom of this Hawkinson, I have some fantasy advice. I give you links to some of my work in the film room so you can go back and look at what I said about them. And I even give you some highlight packages as well from, from other um, providers on YouTube if I think it would be worthwhile for you to take a look at. So I do that for all these players and even players I didn't write up, but I scored. I give you some I give you the look at their their checklist. So if you want to look at the, um, you want to look at the you know kind of the cheat sheets. I have cheat sheets. If you want to look at the in depth player profile, you can. You want to look at how I got to their scores. You can do that, and you can do that for all four positions, 191 players, with this RSP. So that's kind of an idea of you know what you get with this. But say you want to learn more about how this all works, I even show you my glossary. I give you a glossary that defines by position. It defines you, that tells you how the checklists are scored, what the two different types of talent scores are, as well as the definitions for each of these things. So if you want to learn about how I'd score depth of talent or breadth of talent for arm strength, I explain what I'm looking at and how I score it. If you want to see depth of talent, you can go there and see the difference between you know different values of like different types of accuracy or accuracy charting so you can look at that and learn more about those accuracy chartings and thresholds um, and basically it just takes you through it because I believe that defining your criteria is very important to knowing what you should be looking for and it helps you figure out what else you need to be looking for as you get more into this so this is the RSP 1,081 pages of goodness. It's available at mountwaldman.com. 10% goes to Darkness to Light, which is an organization devoted to preventing and addressing sexual abuse in communities of, um, again, you know, when sexual abuse happens against children. So it trains civic organizations, um, trains families, it trains um, government organizations, softball teams, sports groups you know, offices, schools, you name it. They've worked with Penn State. They've worked with Michigan State. So you can tell that, you know, they're trying to be active about trying to help people learn so that they can prevent these types of things from happening again. So thanks again, and 
Hope you enjoy it.